Ulster couldn't put Munster away and in the end they paid the price. My name's Mark, let's talk rugby. Ulster were back in the Kingspan Stadium for the first time in about a month, trying to get the season back on track in a game that they probably felt beforehand that, that they should win. Munster start fairly well, nothing amazing. Like Neither team were great in this game, it has to be said. But Candelan wins a penalty. He went well in the back row for Munster. They kick up the line. Ulster are able to nick the line out against the head. But Munster are kind of keeping hold of the ball. They're not really making great ground with it. So they decided to kick after, you know, a few phases not getting anywhere. Stockdale then, um, he spills the ball but goes backwards and Haley for Munster, he kind of slipped and he's just sitting on the ground. The ball lands in his arms. So um, he gets pinged penalty for that. Ulster then decide to kick up the line um, from the line out to get a bit of a um, half break. But not quite clicking, like move breaks down. And this kind of happens for both teams at the start of the game. Um, Munster then, they overthrow a line out themselves. They give um, Ulster possession outside of their own 22, but Ulster return the favour. They make a mistake and can't make a count. And at this point of the game, both teams are actually looking better without the ball. Like their defences you know, are looking pretty good. Attack, not so much. Too many errors and like, you know, running lines aren't quite right. Um, passing's not quite as crisp as it should be either. So then we have a um, a nice kick through from McCluskey, finds Balakoon out on the wing, but then Haley is able to get back with a great covering tackle. Earl, Earl gets in, he poaches the ball. Um, Munster are able to relieve the pressure for a while, but then Crowley gets pinged for not rolling away, and Ulster get a penalty. Finally, you know, someone decides that they want to put some scores on the board, so instead of kicking to the corner, Cooney points to the post. He pops that over, and we're at 3 0. Then, um, Salanoa hits Hume off the ball. It's another kick of kickable penalty for Ulster. Cooney again makes it 6-0. Looking good for Ulster, even though, like, as I said, the teams look pretty even at this stage. Just Ulster are taking their points when they can get them. Munster are looking like they're beginning to build into, into the game, though, at this stage. They're reducing the errors. They're not eliminating them completely. Both teams still making mistakes, but Munster seem to be getting direct together a little bit um, but then Jack O'Donoghue is in front of the kicker that's another penalty to Ulster Cooney again from the tee and, and we're at 9-0 and it's looking like it's going to be a low scoring game and maybe Ulster are actually building the lead that could actually win them the game unless Munster can start you know getting points on the board themselves we then have a long stoppage for an injury to Marty Moore um, he eventually goes off on a stretcher, it didn't look good for him. Hopefully, it's not as bad as it looked. You know, Marty Moore, he could have, he could have stayed at Leinster and just kind of wound down his career there, and just been kind of a utility backup. But he he decided to move to Ulster to so that he could play more and potentially get a shot at maybe even forcing his way into the Ireland team for or the Ireland squad, should I say, for the Rugby World Cup next year. Um, so hopefully he's not out for too long and we see him back in an Ulster shirt soon. We restart then with a scrum. Munster win a penalty from that scrum. They go up the line. They maul the ball into the 22 and they win another penalty for Tom Stewart lifting a leg in the maul. So Stewart has been like, he's been a real revelation this season. He's been great for Ulster, but he's, the last few times I've seen him now, he's given away silly penalties. And that's something that hopefully, you know, a more senior player will bring him aside and 
help him like a coach or a player or whatever just to eliminate that stuff from his game like just very silly penalty to give away on that one and hopefully it's not you know something that is going to dog him for the rest of the season so monster go into the corner from that penalty they then get another penalty advantage from there as ulster you know are trying to desperately to keep them out but they're also infringing a lot um monster they're going very close to the line lots of pick and carries ulster standing strong in defense but there is that illegality in that defense as well and they give away too many penalties stewart gives away a second penalty and he kind of gets a a yellow card for team offense but he's the one that gave away two penalties so he's off for 10 minutes monster then they elect to go for the scrum in the shadow of the posts ulster though put in a really great defensive effort and eventually they win a penalty because um one of the monster players did a neck roll in a clear out and at that stage it felt like a big moment in the game because this felt like monster's chance to you know get a foothold in the game and ulster have you know done a brilliant defensive set and look like they're going to clear and maybe go and add to their lead we then have um coombs though he makes a a line break for monster he puts a little grubber kick um out to the wing but stockdale is back there to cover and ulster are able to um clear this is at the sorry so this is at the start of the second half so halftime score was nine nil Munster though were coming back and the start of the half like was all Munster pressure um and they're looking like a different side to to, to decide that we're playing in the first half eventually Ulster run out of defenders and Patterson is able to go over in the corner and you can see the difference between the Munster attack at the end of the first half and the beginning of the second half they were just committing more defenders and able to make that space out on the wing Patterson goes in Crowley hits the post with the conversion again would have been a t- tight game we're thinking maybe that's going to be decided or maybe not so we're 9-5 at that time the game then becomes a bit of an arm wrestle between the two teams you know Ulster trying to get that extra score just to stretch away Munster trying to get themselves back level or just just ahead Munster then give away a silly penalty Ulster kick to the corner but Munster are able to turn them over. And again, it's one of those turning points in the game where if Ulster had gone on a score there, maybe they can stretch away and, you know, um, kill the comeback from Munster early on. But they're not able to do that. Then we have um, kind of a while there's a pattern of, you know, one team will make some ground and then they concede a penalty. And then they switch roles where the team who win the penalty makes some ground. Then they concede, and it was going back and forth like that for a while. We have um, some good play, though, from Henderson, where he wins a penalty from Ulster. He scrags Connor Murray. Connor Murray was kind of at the back of a mall that was being enveloped by by Ulster, and he's trying to get the ball out and away. Just as he, he breaks away, he's scragged by Henderson, pulled down, and then they're able to get the um go for the turnover and win the penalty they kick up up uh into the 22 monster though are able to turn them over at the line out then ulster's line out malfunctions and that was kind of a you know for the, the night neither neither team could really rely on their line out for safe possession but monster then in the second half, they're having the line share of possession and territory, and you feel like Ulster are kind of living dangerously. They're not really presenting a threat. They're just kind of trying to lift the siege that Munster have them under. Um, but eventually, Ulster do lift that siege, and they work their way upfield. McCluskey, um, he gives a, a beauty of a long pass out to Balakun, and Balakun goes over in the corner. Doak misses the conversion from out wide. We're at 14-5 there. 
and it's looking like maybe Munster are going to hang on in this one. If they can get another penalty or something, it might be just too much for Munster to come back from. Munster, though, are able to work their way again into the Ultra 22, deep into the 22, get a penalty for Munster. They decide to go for the post and just cut that advantage down a little bit more. Healy puts that one over and more 14 8. Crowley then picks his way through the Ulster defence. Um, but they try to spread it out to the wing and it doesn't quite work for them. But they do win a penalty from there. And how Crowley was able to get through the defence, like it was a real, really nice bit of play for him because it looked like there was no space and he just found that tiny bit of space and some great stepping to get through. And then he, I think he had Coombs on his his shoulder to help him there as well. But he just didn't have the, all the ducks in a row to get it out to the wing. But Munster win the pen, a penalty from that play. They go into the corner. Ulster really are under siege at this stage. Munster are pounding at the line. And Healy finally gets over after multiple phases. He then converts the um the score with the clock in the red and seals the win for Munster. Ulster really should have made this one safe earlier on. They just couldn't get themselves in that position in the second half just to add, you know, um that extra three points towards the end that would have been enough for them to, to get the win. And it's something, you know, Ulster's season seems to be fading fast for them and they're going to have to find some motivation and a spark from somewhere to get themselves back on track or they're going to end up you know potentially out of europe at the pool stage and then um you know falling at the first hurdle when it comes to knockout stage of the urc as well for munster definitely a significant win for them not many people were tipping them to win this one there's still a team in development, though, so this is good for that development. They're definitely not the finished article. 